Good morning, good morning. Welcome to another episode of PPE Clinic. PPE means your personal development, your personal finance, and entrepreneurship uh, clinic. That is what it is. And I'm the PPE doctor seated on this side of the table. I jab you on the butt and get you on the journey towards recovery. Recovery of your money, recovery of your potential, and growth. Today I'm going to be talking about mindset, wrong money mindset, about seven of them. Seven wrong money mindset that you might have. I need you to take a look at it as I talk about them and see which one applies to you and then correct them. The common one, and it's very common to a lot of us, it's, you say that, oh, to be rich, you have to be corrupt or those all those who have money did something wrong or they either did stole money or stole somebody or blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people say that every time you see somebody who is doing pretty well, who is financially empowered, who is grown uh, in terms of the financial base, what most people would declare is, nah, 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 he must have stolen the money, he must have been part of politics, he must have, uh, you know, he's suing somebody's own back. And in fact, people say that from the concept of the love of money is the root of evil. That is where that mindset is coming from, like you stole money or did something. And then that to be rich, you have to compromise, you have to compromise on value, you have to compromise on integrity and all those other. That is one mindset that a lot of people have. And that is what is holding a lot of people down. This is what I want you to know that anything you do not appreciate, anything you despise, or anything you, 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 don't, you don't embrace will not be attracted to your life. And that is why a lot of people will never go beyond where they are because they believe that to go beyond that point, to get a certain point, you must compromise. Let me say this, that not all that have money or that are wealthy, that are uber wealthy, actually do, got it through a very diabolical or true evil means. So you need to ask yourself, is that the way I think? Is that why I am not attracting these needed resources into my life? That is a question you need to start asking every time. So when somebody is talking to you and then they look at uh, this person, no, he stole money, that person, no, he did ritual, that person, that you need to stop it. You need to ask yourself, how can I get there? Meanwhile, you see have your value. You need to appreciate those who have gone farther than you have, those who have that resources. Because when you start to appreciate, you start to attract. Number two is, I deserve more than I am earning right now. Now, that is one sense of uh, what do you call it? Entitlement that a lot of people have. You're working somewhere and I, every time you're like, oh, I deserve more than this, I deserve more than that, and so on and so forth. You don't deserve anything. What you can do if you want to increase that flow in your direction is to earn it. This is what is true and has forever been true. It said, give and it shall be given unto you. When you keep delivering value, it will return to you. So do not think that you can demand your way to wealth. You can only earn your way to wealth. And that is the way it works. So every time when you start thinking, oh, why are they not paying me this? The question you should ask is, how can I deliver more value? Now, this is it. I'm not saying it's, it's like directly proportional and instant as it is. But when you keep delivering value, when you keep adding that value, when you keep going over and above, when every time you get to work, every time you want to move in, you want to deliver extra more than you did the day before, yesterday, yesterday, and so on and so forth. What would happen to you is resources will flow in your direction. Why do you think that two people will work in the same environment? One will end this, the other will end something like this. And in fact, they could have the same years of experience. Uh, why do you think that your mate or your colleague with similar years of experience might be any more in that industry where he is and then you're earning like one third of what he's earning? You need to ask yourself, what exactly do I need to do to earn actually more than I'm doing right now. You know, it's easy to say that they, they will raise the minimum, the minimum, uh, what, what do you call it, the minimum wage. You can, you can legislate the minimum wage. I think it's easier to actually to, 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 to earn it than actually to legislate it. For most of you, if you follow the news, it's taken how many years have they been talking about minimum wage of 30,000? That's actually less than 100 percent. But this is what I can guarantee you. You can virtually double your income when you understand the meaning of value deployment and when you ask yourself, how can I deploy more value? You don't need to wait for like five, 10 years to have minimum wage or to have your weight increase. You can earn your way to that one and that's one money mistake a lot of people they think i deserve it I've, I've been there for long enough i've related long enough i've been nice for long enough nice does not sell in the market value so as you can be arrogant but if you are valuable people will pay you for your service i'm not saying that that will be sustainable on the long term but people will definitely pay you 
But if you are not nice on top of that, you're going to explode uh, in a positive way. Number three is not all of us will be rich. And that is one thing that I hear a lot, even from some of my friends. They look at it and now we can't all be that, we can't all be this, you know, some people are not destined to be that, blah, blah, blah. And they go on and you know, on and on about that. This is what I want to say, that everybody is given the capacity to actually go to their fullest potential, including when it comes to place of resources. If you, if you believe that not everybody will be rich, if I tell you that you will not achieve your potential, I'm sure you're going to curse me. So why do you think that not everybody will be rich? Why do you think that not everybody can get wealthy? That's the wrong mindset because when you have that, what you've done is to actually automatically put a bar on top of your head and then you cannot, you cannot go above that. That is the wrong mindset that people have about money and about wealth that I see a lot. And it's very common. And then also, people now color it some form of religious piety and say, you know what, it'll be humili fake humility. That is not humility. That is, you know, ignorance. Everybody can grow wealth. And the only, because the only way to grow, wealth currency is an exchange. You give value, they return value to you. So you need to ask yourself that, can everybody give value? If everybody can give value, can everybody give value on a larger scale than they are doing now? Yes, everybody can do that. If you keep giving that value, then you can be wealthy, you can be rich. So please, that's the wrong mindset that you should drop today. If you catch yourself thinking in that direction, then you need to ask yourself, how can I stop this? How can I stop this? And the fourth mindset is, I will eat it big one day. And that's one thing, you know, they're, they're working that. Somebody will say, and you hear it a lot, even from very honest, God-fearing people that, ah, one of these days, I will eat it big. Now, that is wrong. Nobody eats it big like, <clears throat> one day. You know, every overnight success has had several sleepless nights, years of toiling, years of hard work. You do not eat it big and stay consistent, which is why, for example, somebody does the lottery, wins 100 million. Go and check the history of those who've won lottery. They end up going down. Some of them become worse than what they were before you don't eat it big at once nobody does that every eating big that you think you've seen has been eating it for a long time only became big after because wealth is cumulative what you have today goes to the next level and goes to the next level and this is why it takes knowledge it takes character it takes strength and a lot more to sustain and to retain your wealth now, what happens to you when you go through the, the phase from this number one to number two, number three, number four? I'm not saying it's going to be sequential or arithmetic in progression. It can be geometric. You can jump from 1 million to 50 million to 10, 20 million and so on and so forth. But it's not in one day. Because at the end of the day, what that process does to you is it builds your person, builds your character, builds your knowledge, builds your strength, builds who you are. So that when you have that resources, you can manage it. Resources will always flow from those who can who cannot manage it to those who can manage it and to be able to manage it you need to have gone through that phase which is why for example if i drop a millionaire if you know there's there's this there's this saying that if you give everybody uh, in nigeria for example 10 million naira this is what will happen in a few years the same people who have it or most of those who have that cash will end up have in another five ten years will end up having the cash and those who never learned how to do it who were waiting for that one big job or one big you know uh, you know armor like people will put it we end up losing the money you know this story is only this saying is always very funny that when the man with the experience meets the man with the money the man with the more experience ends up with the money and the man with the money ends up with the experience and a broken heart there's no eating it one big there's no overnight success every eating one big has been eating it for a long time it's just that at some point the rock cracked and then everybody saw the rock crack and they thought he was eating it once He's been eating it for a long time. Every overnight success has been several nights that they've been over several nights. That is what the clause does not put it. And then number five is, you know, there's an alternative to hard work that I could, instead of, I, I, don't, I don't want to stress myself, that there's an alternative to hard work that I'm not going to stress myself. This is what I want to do. I hear the people are making, it's very easy to make it in Forex. It's very easy to make it in music. It's very easy to make it in, in this one. So I'm just going to try to go do that. Breaking news. There is no alternative to hard work. You must work hard. You must build yourself hard. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work, a lot of grunt work. In fact, one of the most important elements in success is called grit. G-R-I-T. Without grit, without strength of character, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot get to that point. Everybody you've seen who's held their own at that level would tell you that there's no alternative. You can't just... You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't waft to the top. You climb to the top. Climbing takes a lot because there is, first of all, natural force that will prevent you from going. The gravity, 
actually will prevent you from climbing up. If you are going down, you just need to release your hand or just tilt backward. You're going to fall down. But if you want to climb up, you got to work for it. It takes energy. So you need to understand that there's no alternative on this earth that would re that would replace hard work. Hard work, including your in yourself. But I will talk about that in number six point. You know, and the number six point is I want more, but I don't have the time to read. I don't have the time to go to classes. I don't have the time to develop myself. And that is one problem a lot of people have. They want everything that those people have, but they don't want to learn. It takes knowledge. It takes expertise. To actually become wealthy, it's just like you know, and people don't don't think about it this way. Well, if you if you tell yourself I want to become an accountant, or I want to become a lawyer, or I want to become a doctor, what you do at that age is you decide I want to become a doctor. For example, you're going to go do sciences. You read through our secondary school. You need five credits. You make sure you have those five credits. Then you take jam. You know that this course is a little bit high, so you study for jam. You pass it, and then when you pass it, you go through like six, seven years of medical school, hours job training, and then you become a doctor. So why do you think that when you say I want to be wealthy or I want to become a millionaire, they as much as you want to become a doctor, the same hard work that it takes to become a doctor is what it takes to become a millionaire, to become a wealthy person. So why do you think that is different? Why do you think you don't need to go to the school of life to get to that point? You're going to miss it if that is the mindset. That is the wrong mindset. The same way that you, whatever you studied in school, that you studied towards it, you worked at, and many of you had several overnights, you stayed overnight in classes reading. The same way is going to take you time, it's going to take you effort, it's going to take you stretching beyond where you are if you want to become wealthy because just like you're a lawyer doctor you can also be wealthy and the last you know wrong mindset I, i'm going to talk about today is that the specialist would do it you know i, I see a lot of people that i tell them that what do you know about this portfolio you you want to invest in? and it and it says something like oh that um i'm just investing in it because this specialist is going to help me manage my money I'm, i don't know what to do i'm just going to put my money here they will help me to manage it that is wrong at the end of the day the responsibility for your money is on you if you miss that you are going to miss all and this is the how you look at it this is how you look at it the people that are managing your money might not be as rich as you why would you give some <laughs> your, your money to somebody who's poorer than yourself to manage it on your behalf. If he knows how to manage it that well, he should be richer than you. Now, I'm not trying to cast aspersion on anybody, but that's, that's a very simple logic that I don't get. So the summary is this. You are primarily responsible for your wealth creation, for growth in terms of your personal finance. If you think that, yes, I will just, whatever work I'm doing, I will just take it and then throw it there. The specialist will help me manage it. I don't want to be bothered about what happens to the stock market? I don't want to be bothered about what happened to treasury bills. I don't want to be bothered about what happened to this, what happened to that. I just will give it to them and then expect them to manage. And that is where a lot of people are wrong. A lot of people you are working, you really, you are just saying that you are not planning for your future. You think the company will plan for you. You think your pension fund managers will plan for you. How many of you actually are curious about what you have in your pension? How much are you? Is, are you, is your fund in the pension account yielding on a monthly basis? That is actually, especially we manage it for me kind of mindset. You are the architect of your destiny primarily. So you need to ask yourself, you need to sit down and say, no, specialists will not do it. I am, first of all, the specialist. And then now, once you get that clear, you get the knowledge you need, you get the learning you need to do, then you can now say, you know what, I'm going to move this fund to this one because I want them to work with me to do, achieve this. They assist you. You are the lead actor in your own script. So I've talked about six uh, there about wrong mindset that people have about money and wealth and riches and i hope that this is of benefit to you today in the clinic and i hope that i've pushed you forward i've jumped you a little bit and get you thinking about what you need to do and what you need to change about your life till i see you the next time when you come to my clinic i'm still only family and i'm your ppe doctor and i'll be here in cleaning next time should you require another job until i get to that point have a wonderful wonderful day thank you